October the 2nd, 2020, 19 year old Sydney West disappeared into thick fog on the Golden Gate Bridge, and to this day she remains missing. Sydney West is a 19 year old student at the University of California, and she's described as 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighing 130 pounds. She was last seen wearing dark leggings, a light teal hoodie, van sneakers with a tropical print on them, and she was also wearing her hair in a bun. Some have jumped to conclusions about her disappearance with the fact that she was walking alone. Her family and a California private investigator working on the case are still baffled but hopeful three years later that she will still be found and worst case scenario, they are given some kind of closure. The North Carolina native was staying with family friends in San Francisco with plans to study at the University of California in the coming months. She had a long-standing struggle with depression that had become more severe during times of lockdown. A teenager with plenty of friends being isolated during that time was hard for many as they missed their social lives and friends. Unreleased video footage had surfaced of Sydney on the bridge that morning. A private investigator named Scott explained that there was something about the recently obtained video footage of Sydney disappearing into the fog. It just did not add up. First of all, it was roughly 6.45am in the morning. It was extremely crowded on the bridge, with many people heading to work and exercising. It was really foggy, but she kind of just disappeared into the fog, he said. Now the fog does get very thick on the bridge, making it sometimes difficult to see the top of the bridge and even the entrance. You would think if somebody went and crawled up onto the rails with all these people and bike riders, runners, drivers, somebody would have either called someone, somebody would have seen her surely, but that never happened. Or somebody would have tried to talk her down or come forward about this, but that never happened. Despite mental health disorders, Sydney's father explained how he finds it hard to believe that his daughter just disappeared voluntarily. But her being my daughter and knowing how she feels about her sister and about her family and all the things that she was looking forward to and all the things that she would get to experience, I just find it hard to believe that she would leave it all behind. Sydney's family set up a website with more information regarding her disappearance and issued a $25,000 reward for anyone that could provide information on her current whereabouts. Sydney enjoyed frequent walks along the iconic landmark, but there were also bird watchers, photographers, athletes taking part in activities at the park below the bridge that day, but no one saw her. The footage, which is not public and rarely viewed by anyone other than bridge officials and law enforcement, also shows fog rolling over the bridge, combined with smoke from nearby wildfires that eventually obscure any views of Sydney's last location. The West family had previously lived in California before they moved to North Carolina, Sydney, and then moved back for her first year at UC Berkeley. But due to a serious concussion from a summer lake mishap in North Carolina and classes moving fully online in 2020 due to the lockdown, she had deferred until the fall of 21 semester and she was staying with family friends in the Bay Area in the meantime. Before she went out there, she had been having a really hard time with screen time. She wasn't supposed to be doing any screen time, but this was the fall of 2020 and classes were virtual, completely virtual. So everything was on the computer and she said she just couldn't do it. The 19 year old had felt isolated and lonely during the switch to virtual classes that fall. And Press stated that she was at risk due to her depression, but her family believes there's more to the story. 
Lots of people have been like, well, it's obvious what happened. But according to her mother, Sydney is well-rounded and has an interest in science as well as art and music. She enjoyed traveling, learning and was really interested in sports. Could she have been pulled into a car? It's a possibility. Although, wouldn't someone have heard her scream or seen a struggle? Did she jump or was she pushed? Is what people are questioning due to her previous mental health issues, but family say not, and surely someone under the bridge would have seen something. Her body was never found. There are lots of security cameras at the entrance and exit and under the bridge, and she was not seen leaving the bridge, so it is a possibility that she did leave by car. Was someone following her? There are so many possibilities in this case, but my opinion is that she left by car, either by someone she knew or not by her own volition. The family look for her every day. They constantly wonder where she could be, what happened to their beloved daughter and will she ever come home. When they hear a knock at the door or the telephone ring, they hope that it's her. This is not fair on her family. Please think of them and what they are going through. If you know anything in regards to Sydney's disappearance, somebody's told you something about their involvement in confidence, you can come forward anonymously, but please do. Think of the family and do the right thing. Imagine if this was your daughter, your sister. Do the right thing.